According to Islam, the Kaaba was rebuilt several times throughout history, most famously by Ibrahim and his son Ismail, when he returned to the Valley of Mecca several years after leaving his wife Hajar and Ismail thereupon Allah's command. And there have been some recent revelations about this sacred place. What are the true revelations about Kaaba in Mecca? Let's find out. Historian Patricia Crone has cast doubt on the claim that Mecca was a major historical trading outpost. Other scholars such as Glenn Bowersock disagree and assert that it was. Crone later on disregarded some of her theories. She argues that Meccan trade relied on skins, hides, manufactured leather goods, clarified butter, hijazi woolens, and camels. According to Islamic cosmology, the Zura pilgrimage site was the precursor to the Kaaba. Prior to Islam, the Kaaba was a holy site for the various Bedouin tribes throughout the Arabian Peninsula. Once every lunar year, Bedouin people would make a pilgrimage to Mecca during Muhammad's lifetime from 570 to 632 Common Era, the Kaaba was considered a holy site by the local Arabs. There is no place on earth as venerated, as central, or as holy to as many people as Makkah. By any objective standard, this valley in the Hijaz region of Arabia is the most celebrated place on earth. Thousands circle the sacred Kaaba at the center of the Haram Sanctuary 24 hours a day. Millions of homes are adorned with pictures of it and over a billion face it five times a day. The Kaaba is basically the epicenter of Mecca. The cube-shaped building is at the heart of the most well-known real estate in history. It is shrouded in black and its fair share of mystery. The Kaaba that we see today is not exactly the same Kaaba that was constructed by prophets Ibrahim and Ismail. From time to time, it has needed rebuilding after natural and man-made disasters. Of course, we all know of the major reconstruction that took place during the life of the prophet before he became a prophet. This is the occasion when the prophet averted major bloodshed by his quick thinking on how to place the black stone using a cloth that every tribe could lift up. The original Kaaba used to have a door for entrance and another for exit. For a considerable period of time, it also had a window situated to one side. The current Kaaba only has one door and no window. We are so used to the Kaaba being covered in the trademark black kiswa with gold banding that we can't imagine it being any other color. However, this tradition seems to have started at the time of the Abbasids whose household color was black. And before this, the Kaaba was covered in multiple colors, including green, red, and even white. Until recently, the Kaaba was open twice a week for anyone to enter and pray. However, due to the rapid expansion in the number of pilgrims and other factors, the Kaaba is now opened only twice a year for dignitaries and exclusive guests only. One of the problems with having the Kaaba situated at the bottom of a valley is that when it rains, the valleys tend to flood. This was not an uncommon occurrence in Makkah and the cause of a lot of trouble before the days of flood control systems and sewage. For days on end, the Kaaba would be half submerged in water. For years, many have wondered what it looks like inside the Kaaba, relying on second or third hand accounts from those who were lucky enough to enter just wasn't satisfying enough. Then one lucky person who went inside took his camera phone in with him, and millions have seen the shaky footage online. The interior of the Kaaba is now lined with marble and a green cloth covering the upper walls. The history of the Kaaba is not just an interesting story from our past. The Kaaba is a real and present symbol that connects all Muslims together wherever they may be. It also connects them to the glorious and not so glorious past so that people may derive lessons and feel that they are a part of an eternal mission. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such informative content.